this is a year that we've been uh, in some form of isolation because of the uh, COVID virus. And so that feels, um, in, a, in a word, feels exhausting. <laughs> Um, and my thought along with the, um, coordinators here, Akosh and Crystal were talking about how nice it would be to, um, have a luxurious sort of very relaxing, um, meditation. And since I'm a yoga teacher, um, there's a very magical practice called yoga nidra, which is, um, generally done lying down. And so that's what I'm going to invite us into. And so, you know, you do what you need to do in terms of um, meeting or inclining toward the, uh, the needs that you're um, wanting to connect to for being here. And we all have different needs. So I just wanted to be transparent about um, my inclination, but I, I will be here holding the, the space as I guide um, you all through uh, uh, yoga. It's called yoga, uh, yogic sleep is one of the, one of the translations for nidra, N-I-D-R-A. And, um, and so I'll guide us through and in terms of how to stay awake if I mean, that's, I think, why we're here, <laughs> to stay awake. So, um, but if you enjoy your nap, uh, uh, I mean, if you fall asleep, enjoy your nap, yeah. And then I'll be inviting the bell at the end um, th three times to signal the transition to the break. And um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to offer that to us this evening for our meditation time. So I'm actually going to start with movement, though, just to kind of connect to your body. Uh, and again, do what you need to do. There's many options in Zoom. You can mute me. <laughs> That's one thing you can do by muting your computer, you know, or you can um, find whatever is supportive. And, and just take this moment, though, to look. There's 49 of us here on, the, on this call, you know, and um, some of you I've um, we've known each other through BMC for uh, many years, and then some of us are just um, meeting for the first time. And yet, we are all here to, um, I think I could safely say, uh, reduce suffering, you know. And so, this is really special that we get to be here. And, and so, uh, after you've um, looked around, I'm gonna invite you, or you can still look around and then move your shoulders. And just only if it feels appropriate for your body right now to make circles with the shoulders and go in one direction if you'd like first. And then in the other direction when you're ready. And then if you'd like to, uh, if it feels good for your body to roll out your wrists. So circling your hands and your wrists. And then in the other direction. And find your breath and and this is the meditation has, has started. We're, we're always in the moment. Meditating is remembering we're in the moment. Um, so from here, I'm gonna invite us to make circle, um, a little movement of our spines. So if it's available to you to um, bring your chin down and the middle part of your back for those who have practiced yoga, it's the cat stretch. And then if it feels right for you in this moment to have your head and neck, your chin come up and to open your chest. So I invite you to exhale as you lower your chin towards your chest. And then inhale, let the belly relax as you lift your chin and head. 
a very subtle movement for the spine, but really um, generally very good for us to create movement in the spine. And if you want to add the breath, inhale as you curl up and exhale as you curl down. All right. And after the next time your head comes up, just return it back to neutral. And if you want, take a, a big breath or two and we're all muted. So you can make it like a, any sort of sound as you exhale or just to let go of the day. And then I'm gonna invite us to open up the sides of our body. So if, you, if you'd like tilting a little to the right, and if you wanna bring your left arm up, do that or just leave it down, whatever feels again, good for your body right now. And then taking a breath, you might feel the sensation of the uh, expanding of your, this, the right side of your torso, the left side of your torso. Okay, and then when you're ready, you'll release your arm very gently back down and then pause and you might notice a difference from one side to the other, no right or wrong. And then I'm gonna invite opening into the right side of the torso. So if you want, bend over a little to your left and, and also if you want, lift your right arm up. I'm taking a couple of breaths here. All right, and then when you're ready, bring your arm back down. And then if you want again to roll your shoulders out. So some of you might be lying down already. So if your body's calling for that, I definitely in encourage that. And um, yeah, the video definitely could be turned off and and just to find a comfortable position. So we can meditate in any position. Uh, lying down is, is often said to be the hardest because it's challenging to stay awake. Um, but again, if you fall asleep, enjoy your nap. And then as you find, um, uh, if you're lying down, I'll give a few instructions for that. Um, definitely get, get pillows and a blanket if you want to be covered by that. For many of us, I, our lower backs are very tight. Um, so if you have extra pillows or extra blanket, you could roll it up and put it underneath your thighs or in the backs of your knees. And the main uh, encouragement is to feel the full support of the, of the earth beneath us. We are uh, of the earth, we're, we're born of the earth and, and so sensing that uh, so unconditional support if there's any other movement that feels, wants to happen, maybe a little shimmy of the hips or gentle rolling of your feet and your ankles. So whatever posture you find yourself in, just encourage you to uh, let go as much as you can and, and let the earth support us. And then to have, if it's available, the vision of all, all of us here in the Sangha, um, practicing, like doing the best we can to try to be with our body, mind, heart. This human existence of, of 
joys of sorrows and discomforts and pleasures. And so your eyes can be open or closed. If they're open, definitely allowing them to relax. If they need to look around at any time, definitely do that. Notice that that's happening and, and then allowing the eyes to rest. So either with the lids open or closed. Sometimes it's nice to leave them open and then you could look at your belly and chest rising with each breath. If it feels good, definitely take a couple deeper breaths. And and I'll just invite you to bring awareness to whatever parts of your body are touching the ground or whatever is supporting you. If you're sitting in a chair or your bed. Or... And so notice which parts of your body are making contact. And try to sense those parts are just melting, just uh, feeling that support. And sometimes when we're able to feel that contact, the, the rest of our body is able to rest and, and not hold extra tension. You know, we always are holding tension that's anatomical functioning. Um, but quite often we're holding extra tension. And what we are invited to do with that extra tension is to not be extra with it, to actually uh, be kind and sometimes we can imagine breathing into those tender, uh, extra tense places in our bodies. So if that feels right for you, definitely do that. And on the exhale, sometimes the extra tension leaves, but that's not um, ever 100% possible. There's always some level of discomfort and and sometimes it's helpful quite often it's helpful not to focus on the discomfort and find a neutral place in your body that can be the breath or can uh, invite us to to scan, to scan the body actually starting with your feet and is generally the neutral aspects of our experience are easy to uh, bypass. So you might notice your feet and the soles of your feet and your toes, your ankles. And feel free at any time if you want to like mindfully wiggle your toes or circle your ankles or just definitely allowing them just to rest and and your shins and your calves your thighs backs of thighs, knees, backs of knees. And your pelvic bowl and 
the whole hip area and your glutes and your lower back. So for here, if it's available, I invite you to breathe into your lower back. And take your time here, no rush. And you might sense um, the lower back move with the with the breath. Maybe thanking our lower back for all that it does. So. Again, if you're lying down, if you don't have a cushion, sometimes bending your knees and having the soles of the feet on the ground can help quite often take tension away from the lower back. So definitely do that. And or sometimes resting your feet on top of a chair or a bed, or against the wall even. And just, if you're moving, just do so mindfully, you know. Move your awareness to your mid back and your upper back. And being kind to your upper back muscles. Most of us are tight and weak, these muscles from all the things we do, computing. So if it's available, it feels good, send the breath to your upper back. The muscles underneath your shoulder blades. In Spanish, these shoulder blades are called alas, which means wings. <laughs> so you might sense the the strength of your of these shoulder blades and but let them rest yeah and, and notice when we judge the the judgment when we judge the pain and if it's the two painful areas move on and I'll invite us to move up to the upper shoulders and the fronts of the shoulders and to our heart area and our belly area. So here in our torso, I'll invite you to imagine that each inhale is nourishing all of these vital organs. And the exhales is kind of a cleansing, a, a letting go of the extra. And it's not bad stuff. The exhales, as you know, nourish the cycle of life, trees and plants and so for these next couple of breaths you might feel like your torso is expanding with breath this nourishing breath the out breath is letting go if it feels good to tense your your belly a time or two as you exhale do that And then we'll move back to the shoulders and then down the arms. So your upper arms, your elbow, crook of the elbow, your forearm, wrists and hands. And 
And so for a moment here, I'll invite you just to notice your hands and all the sensations that are in your hands. And you might imagine breathing into all of your arms and your hands, and then anything you're holding on to, psychologically, emotionally, physically, the past, the future, you might imagine letting it go out your palms, out your fingertips as you exhale. Breathing in, nourishing, giving thanks and for the strength that we have and the exhale, letting go, letting things be as they are. And then we'll move our attention to the throat and the neck, our collarbones, and then our jaw. Sometimes it feels good to circle the jaw a bit and sometimes it feels good to like squeeze the facial muscles and then just let them relax. Are on the screen all day. And so just to bring awareness to all these muscles in our face. And when you breathe in, just nourishing all these muscles and breathing out, allowing your jaw to relax. And again, not judging, very common place to hold tension. It's not our fault. Just... And you might trace your jaw to uh, the top of the jaw where it meets your ear. And so you might imagine even relaxing the cartilage of your ear. And tracing the inside of the ear and to the eardrum. or relaxing, breathing into the eardrums and and there are sounds, of course. You might just note the sounds as pleasant or unpleasant or neutral and we could maybe become aware of how we even hold tension in our eardrums as a pushing away of things or so just allow the eardrums to be and then from the eardrums or we'll Go into the skull and the brain and outside of the skull as well. There's a, a, a big muscle at the back of the head and, and then the crown of your head. So you might imagine breathing relaxing the entire scalp, your forehead. And the muscles around your eyes.
So we're taking stock now of your whole body and if you want to imagine sending your breath anywhere into your body, do that. So we'll be here for a couple more minutes. So about five minutes and And so sending your breath to anywhere in your body, or you might just notice a gentle rise and fall of your chest and your belly. So for these last couple minutes, I'm going to invite metta. Some of you may be practicing on already and just wishing our bodies safety and protection. Thanking our bodies. May our bodies continue to support the practice of loving awareness.
May we know peace and ease. And may we love ourselves just as we are. And I'll invite you to wish metta for everyone here in the Zoom room, Alphabet Sangha. May we all be safe and protected, free, free from inner and outer harm. May we be happy. May we be truly happy. Fabulously happy, happy AF. May our bodies continue to support our practice, our practice of, of metta, of loving awareness, of unstoppable friendliness. And may our lives be full of peace and ease. May we know peace and ease. to the sound of the bell, no need to move just yet. And if you'd like to move, I'll invite you to start this very subtle movements of wiggling your toes. And you wiggle your fingers. You might rock your head from side to side. And just take your time. There's nowhere to go, nothing to do. Just be yourself here, being of yourself and simultaneously in Sangha. Invite you, if it's available, to sense the field that we've created together and when you'll take your time again, whenever you're ready, you'll find a another posture if that's what your body needs and wants right now. And just be super kind to yourself and this is a revolutionary act to be kind to ourselves, to allow ourselves sacred rest. So I thank you for your practice. <laughs> 